not nervous, are you? No, but I don't remember how we were supposed to start the interview since we asked the questions. Yes, I know, but I mean, the big, like, don't you say something? I'm here to interview you. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you just start asking. Okay. It's fine. It's not like you're a stranger. If we didn't see each other more often, it would probably be worse if you just walk in and be like, hi, I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. <laughs> well, um, it's for my senior projects no more, so mm -hmm. I'm going to be asking you about that. Okay. Um, so... From where or from whom did you hear um, first find out of No More? Uh, Thomas Soto, our department chair. He used to be the advisor. And then that was my first year of teaching. He was asking about doing presentations in our classes and stuff. Um, but I didn't really know what the program was about at that point. Um, I didn't really find out until a couple years later. Melissa Berry was doing it. It was another English teacher. And I think I had her team come in and present to one of my classes. And that was the first time that I really like saw what they were doing and you know what they were about. Um, how long have you been doing no more yourself, and why do you continue? Um, this is my second year as the advisor, um, and. I continued, like last year was really hard, just like trying to get everything, and the Marjorie Mason Center helps out a lot in trying to get everything, but it was so hard.